Well, that's two. That's two teams trying to win a playoff game. Uh, very intense. A lot of calls could have gone either way. Um, you know, they got the benefit of the doubt on some of the calls. We got the benefit of the doubt on a couple calls. Um, but you just saw two two teams competing. You know, we talk about this in season tournament, and it's a playoff game, and it was fun game to play in. The intensity level was there. So job well done to the NBA adding this type of excitement in November because uh, it'll be some dark days in November. But your games like this, you can appreciate them. So it's great. And then, you know, they had guys make plays on the stretch. We had guys make plays. Came out on top. There was a lot of things built on you. After they miscompetitive you, the tap back down looks like Steph is getting to get in you were down in the mix and, and obviously I look well with him. Like, what's your perspective? Uh, my perspective was that my hand touched the rim. Uh, cause I was going, I was going to, it looked like the ball was about to pop out. So I was going to uh, get a putback. And when I jumped to get the putback, Giddy like went back into my leg. So it kind of brought my hand down and hit the rim, but hitting the rim is not a goal 10. So I didn't affect the shot and we won. I also saw Giddy had pulled the net as well, you know? So uh, there was some confusion on it and, um, um, Shea has said if he touched the net and it didn't affect the ball, it's not a go to And she said, if, uh, if, if I touched the rim and I didn't affect the ball, it wasn't a go to I knew I didn't affect the ball. So I thought it was good. We got, got the bucket. Same during the review, you know, for you, but it was emotional. In the huddle, just we know it's feeling good, or we know it's gonna go the other way. I mean, what was it like when you knew in your head I didn't affect the shot, or maybe for what it's finished? Uh, I mean, you, you're kind of just really at the mercy of the referees, though, because I didn't believe I affected the shot, but I also didn't believe I, I was a blocking foul either. Um, I, so you know, you're you're kind of at the mercy of the refs and whatever call they decide to make. Um, and you know, they decided that. It was a no call, so take it. Uh, I mean, it's very important. You know, we, we struggled a lot last year to close out tight games. So to, you know, have our first two tests, you know, in, in tight games, thought it was really big for us to come out with two wins. And tonight, especially, like we were, we didn't have any energy. Um, and those guys were kind of getting what they want on the offensive end, you know, so we never got stops. And um, just to to pull that game out, you know, like I said, it's a playoff game. That's a win and that's that's a mark in the win column. No matter how you got it, uh, we got it done. But, yeah, I thought our energy wasn't there. Um, that could have been a lot better. I also think our young fellas not being here, uh, Trace and, and BP and Lester, the energy that they bring to this team, we missed that. And, you know, so next uh, next time we have an in-season tournament game, we need those guys here because they bring a lot of juice for us. And, and, you know, you always talk about young guys bringing energy. That's their job. And we don't have to tell those young guys to bring energy. They do it every single day. So I wasn't overly shocked that our energy wasn't there because they are the guys that lift our, our energy level and, and they weren't here. So we got to do a better job of that. But overall... You know, give this team a lot of credit. We stuck with it and, and pulled the win out. 1,000%. Absolutely. We need them here. They're, they're a big part of the fabric of this team. So we missed them tonight.